So let's get started from the first questions. Consider reaction AA that forms product where the A naught is 5.0 M and K is 1 times 10 to a negative 2. Calculate A after 30 seconds. Assume the reaction is actually zeros order, first order, and the second order. When you read these questions, what are the keywords? Time, right? So the time is actually a keyword because you know this actually just tell you, okay, you need to use the integrated red law, right? So when you want to use the integrated red law, then we come to this, right? Three equations that you need to memorize. This, this, and this. So depending on the order they provide in the question, then you know which equation that you should use, right? So with let's start from the first one. The first one is what? Zero's order, right? So zero's order, so the equation you need to use is this. Let me write here. We know your A at any given time T is going to equals to negative KT plus your A naught. So let's actually, the first step you need to do, you need to know, okay, what equation I should use, right? From the, if you read through these questions, so you know, that is the equation you need to use. Then the next thing is actually, okay, if you look through these equations, and then you read through your question again, okay, the information you got is what? A naught is actually 5.0, right? That means actually this guy is five. Right? K is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2. How, what's the time you need? 30 seconds has passed, right? That means actually 30 seconds after, right? So you know your T is what? 30. Okay, so apparently this is actually the Question that give you the A naught, give you K, give you T to calculate your AT, right? So as we mentioned in the very beginning, it's three AT, A naught, K, and T. Give you three and calculate the fourth one. All right, so the key is actually, this is the key, right? Go from the question to the equation that you need to use. It's the key to solve this problem. Okay, so you should train yourself. So like once you see this time information, integrated red law, find out the order, write down the equation. Plug in the number, solve for the answer. That's how you should do it. Okay? For the first order and second order, you know you know you know how to do it now, right? Because let's you just need to switch to different equations and then plug in the numbers and calculate your 18. Let's go through the next questions. This slide is going to tell you how to use integrated relative to determine the reactant concentration and the reaction time. Let's start from here. Okay, for a reaction where it shows the N2O5 is going to decompose to form the NO2 plus O2. The red law is this, where the red constant K is this at 65 degrees C. And then it asks you, assuming the initial concentration is this, what is the concentration for N2O5 after 600 seconds? So what's the keyword here? 600 seconds. Yes, 600 seconds is the keyword. Why is keyword? Because that information tells you this has to be related to the integrated red law. So three reactions pop up, right? So you need to either use like zeros order, first order, or seconds order. So which one should you use? You need to look for the clue, right? You want to know, okay, what is the reaction order, right? Does this tell you the reaction order? First, right? So when we say the reaction rate is equals to rate constant K, if it's zero order, it's actually to the reactant to the zero's power, right? That equals to just K. So if you see R equals K, that means it's zero order, right? But if you actually see the R equals to K, times reactant to the first power. That's first order, right? 
if the actuator is ray equals to k times reactant to the second power, that's second order. So from here, okay, even though it did not say, it did not tell you from the equation, you should know that this is what? First order reaction. Okay, so you know. So this is actually another keywords, right? Unit of K is another one. So unit of K is also another places that you can actually know what the reaction order is. Okay, so these are the three keywords that you should actually know. Do you see the question better now? Okay, because those is where you should actually pay attention to, then you know what equation you should use. Okay, so since right now it's actually first order, we need to know we know that we need to use integrated red law, right? So we need to write this things out first. Okay, natural log at is going to equal to negative kt plus natural log a naught. That will be actually the first step you should know when you want to solve these things properly. Once you have this equation, okay, start to plug in the numbers. This apparently is the things that you want to solve, right? Do you have K? 5.2 times 10 to the negative third per second, right? What's the T? 600 seconds, right? Don't forget your negative sign in the front, okay? Plus, Nature log, do you know the A naught? It says the initial concentration, right? So you know this is 0 0.04. You can actually just calculate this. But once you get these numbers, don't forget the things you have is actually nature log AT, right? So in order to convert the nature log AT to AT, you need to do the exponential on both sides. Okay, so you need to do the exponential negative 5.2 times 10 to the negative third multiply 600 plus natural log 0 0.04. Then once you do these things, then you should be able to get the answer of 0.001 AM. So when you go back home, make sure you actually do the things on your calculator. So you know, you, get, you also get familiar with how to operate your calculator properly. All right, let's actually how you solve these questions. So once you have those concepts, solving the second one become very easy. So assuming the initial reaction, the initial concentration of this is 20 M. That means actually your A not right now is actually 20 M. How long does it take? It actually tells you, okay, you need to calculate what? Calculate your T now, right? When you reach the concentration of 2N, that means actually your A and that time T is going to equal to 2. What you do is actually, again, use the same equation, right? Nature log A naught equals to minus K times T plus natural log A naught, right? Natural log AT, not A naught. So this should be AT. Let me make it more clear. Plug this in to here, you got natural log two. Going to equal to minus K, K is 5.2 times 10 to the negative three. Multiply T plus natural log A naught is 20. You just use this equation to solve for your T. The T is going to equal to 442.8 seconds. So apparently in the second question, what it gives you is actually A T A naught K and actually to solve for the T. All right, so that's how you handle the question like this. OK, so of course here we only give you the first order reactions, right? If the reaction right now 
you change the expression, make a second order or zeroth order. The concept is the same, right? You just need to find out what is the integrated red law equation to use to start with. Okay, then looking for three parameters and solve those for, for the fourth one. All right, so let's actually a general, general uh, approach to actually get the correct answer. This is actually another type of question you're going to encounter a lot. Is asking you the time that's needed, okay, to reach certain cons certain conditions, okay. So let's look for let's look at this one first, okay. If a rate constant of the composition of N two O five at certain temperature is certain number. Please calculate the time needed for the concentration N205, 4 to 1 half, 15% or 1 ninth. It's actually very similar to the things we see before. The only thing that changed is that it did not directly tell you the concentration of your AT. Rather, you actually describe your AT re re uh, relatively to your initial concentration. When you say it's actually when the concentration of this drop to one half, that means what? That means your N two O five at time T is going to equal to one half of N two O five at time zero, right? So in the second case, you need to decipher this as that your N two O five at time T is going to equal to 0.15 times your N205 at time zero. And the third one is your N205 at time T is equal to just one nine of N205 at time zero. So once you have this concept, okay, and we know this reaction is first order, right? Therefore, you know this. So previous we say for the first order one is actually natural log A T is going to equal to negative K T plus natural log A naught, right? So let's actually integrate the red law for the first order reaction. Therefore, I can move these things to the left. So it's going to become natural log AT minus natural log A naught. And this turns for the natural log turns, if two turns is actually minus, it actually equals to, you can put it all in into a single natural log. Then it will be this on the top. That is actually at the bottom. Then it's going to equal to just your negative KT, right? So right now you have this. You can actually move the K to the left. So you're going to get T is equal to 1 over K, negative sign, natural log, A T over A naught. The next thing I do is actually I put the negative sign into my natural log, and the effect of that is actually it's going to flip this two. Okay, so that A naught right now is actually at the top. A T is actually at the bottom. So this is something that you might want to actually memorize, which this equation is actually especially useful when they're trying to express the A T in terms of A naught. So once you have this, then for the one half condition, okay, your A T is equal to one half of the initial concentration. You can just replace this one as one half of the A naught. And then the A naught, A naught is going to cancel out, okay? And this natural log term becomes just natural log two. So you know in the end the T half is actually equal to one over K times your natural log two. If I give you the K, then you know what the time is. The reason I put one half here is simply because this actually represents the concentration of A decrease to the half of the original concentration. So once you have this concept in mind, you can actually solve this one 
relative easily, right? For the second part, we say the AT becomes 0.15 of the original concentration, right? So what it means is actually you can still use this, right? T is going to equal to one over K. A naught on the top, bottom will be 0.15 times your A naught. And then your A naught, A naught cancels out. In the question, you've got the K, right? Therefore, you can solve for the T. And then this T will be T 0.15, right? When your concentration decrease only to the 15% of the original concentration. So for the one nice, it's the same, right? So your T one nice will equal to one over K. A naught one nice of your A naught. And A naught, A naught cancels out. Then you can actually put in your K, then solve for your T. The key thing here is actually this is something that you also want to memorize. So the very last thing I want to go through is this. This is actually another type of question you are going to encounter, which is relevant to the plot we made in the very beginning. So in the questions, OK, you will see a lot of descriptions. But the key is actually you are always, always going to see a table that associated with that question. It gives you the concentration of certain of your reactants, OK, at different time. OK, and then it gives you the concentration of natural log of the concentration at different time. And it's going to ask you what is the reaction order. So what you need to do is actually you just need to plot out the concentration of your reactants over time or the natural log of your concentration over time and see which one give you the linear plot and that one will be the order that you're actually looking for. Just to refresh your memory, OK, so let's go back to this. If it is zeros order reactions, then what you're going to see is that if you plot out your concentration of your reactant over time, then you're going to get a straight line. In the questions, all you have is actually just concentration versus time or natural log concentration over time, right? So what you do is actually you just use your Excel to plot out these two things, where the Y is either this one or that one, and see which one gives you the linear relationship. The one that gives you the linear relationship, okay, is actually the reaction order for that specific reaction. One tricky thing of this thing is that when they describe the AT, okay, the concentration of your reactant at time T, when they describe their things, it could be tricky. Okay, so in all the questions we explore, it's, it's actually very straightforward, right? So after 600 seconds, what is the concentration of your reactant, right? That's the very standard statement you're going to see. But in your homework, be very careful about the wording. Sometimes they will say how many of the reactant remains. OK, or how many of the reactant has been consumed? These are two different things, right? So how many of the A remains and how many of A consumed? This actually discovered the opposite thing, right? How many A remains is actually equivalent to the A at time T, right? That means actually the A concentration at a given time. How many of A consumed is actually, okay, original you have A naught, okay? Right now you have A T. That's how many of A has been consumed. Be very careful about the wording, okay, because it is asking different things. Many of students they don't pay attention to that. They always think the question is actually asked for AT, but it is not. All right, so let's it for today.